Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to implement a stack using JavaScript. Now, I just want to say first off, you probably don't need to use the technique covered in today's video to give yourself a stack. You can probably just use the built-in array methods, both pop and push instead. But if you do want a more structured and strict uh, you know stack you can definitely follow today's video to give yourself just that or if you just want to learn something today's video might help you out now I just want to say also I'm going to be using node.js and this also comes with a package.json I'm using a type of module this allows me to use the uh, the native ES6 import export syntax so if you do want to follow along make sure you include this in your package.json but going back to the actual stack implementation uh, for those of you who aren't too sure a stack is basically just a first in last out data structure which means if I was to relate it to a real life example it's like stacking plates after you've washed them okay so for example you wash a plate you put it on top another one another one another one you keep going up and up and up right and then when you go to use your plates you know to eat your pizza or whatever you're doing right you take the first plate off the top you don't go on the bottom, right? So basically, it's a first in, right? So you put your, you know, your, um, uh, your first plate in, and you keep stacking them, right? Then you take the first one off the top. So basically, the cleanest plate is always the one you're going to be using. So it's a first in, first out data structure. The ones on the bottom are going to stay. They're going to get dusty, and they're going to get old. So that is your stack. So now, going inside the file structure, let's make a new file here called stack.js. This stack.js is going to give us the class for using a stack. So I'm going to say export default class called stack. So if you're not too sure what this export default stuff is or this class is, I've got videos on those topics in particular. But to summarize, export default just means I'm going to be, essentially, when I want to import this stack.js file inside this index.js file, it's going to give me the class. So basically, import this, it's going to give me the class. We're going to see how this works very shortly, but for now, let's go inside here, and we're going to be creating a constructor. So, inside the constructor, we're going to say this.items is equal to a new empty array. So basically, we're going to be using an internal array called items to keep hold of each one of our items inside, uh, inside the stack. Okay, cool. So now, how do we add items to our stack? Well, we're going to be creating a method called push. This push method is going to take in an item. Then we, uh, we're going to simply say, you know, this.items.push. We're going to pass through here the item. Okay, so we're basically just using uh, this push method on the array to add an item to the end of our array. Okay, so that's quite straightforward. The next one is going to be called pop. And this one here is going to give us uh, essentially, uh, you know, the last item on the array. So basically, the last one that was recently added, we're going to be returning that from this pop method. And we're going to be saying right here, return this dot items dot pop just like this. So, uh, of course, just so you know, this pop method and this pop method are different. Same goes for the push and push. So, when calling pop on the actual array of items, it's going to give you the last item in your array and basically just return that. Okay, so it is also going to alter the size of your array, which means if I was to call, for example, if I have apple and banana and I call pop, it's going to give me banana and leave me with apple just like this. So that is what the pop method is doing. Next up, We've got the peak method. This one here is just going to essentially give you uh, the last item in your array, but not actually remove it. So basically, it's very similar to this one here, but it's going to be just showing you and not removing it from your item list. So for this, we're going to say just, you know, return uh, this dot items, then pass through here the index. We're going to be saying uh, this dot items dot length and then minus one. So, if your length is zero, you're probably going to have a few problems. So, it's going to give you negative one as your index. So, to solve this problem, we're just going to say right up here, uh, if this.items.length is, uh, you know, equal to zero, we're going to just return right here. You know what, let's just return nothing. So, that'll give you undefined. Oh, you know what, 
My mistake. Sorry, guys. Let's return now. It's probably going to be a little bit better if we do that. So, that is our peak method, just giving us the last item in the array without removing it from the bottom. Okay? Then, we're going to say get size, just like this. It's going to, of course, give you the size of the stack. You can say return this.items.length, very straightforward. Then, of course, one called is empty. This one is going to check the size. It's going to say return get size equal to zero. So, of course, if the size is zero, then of course it is empty, going to give you true and you're good to go. So, that right there is your stack implemented in JavaScript. Let's now take advantage and use it. So, back inside here, we're going to import the stack just like this. I'm going to say import stack from dot forward slash stack dot json. Then we can make a new stack. We're going to say const cars is equal to a new stack just like this. So now in this stack, we're going to be adding some car makes. So we're going to say cars dot push, then pass through here, for example, Honda and do the exact same thing for let's just do Toyota and Mazda just like this. So now, if I was to console.log the actual cars stack directly, we can inspect what the internal array looks like. If I save this, then run node index.js, we get this stack here, items Honda, Toyota, and Mazda. So now, as we can see, I have added Mazda as my most recent car model, which means, or car make, which means if I then say, you know, uh, console.log, and I say cars.pop just like this. I'm going to be placing this pop above our console log of the actual cars. So if I save this, we will now see Mazda as our firstly popped item. So of course, it's very similar to uh, removing your plates, right? So you remove the last plate which you added. Of course, in this case, the plate is Mazda. And of course, we're left with Honda and Toyota. If I then say, for example, console.log, we're going to say cars.peak, just to peak the next one to be removed. If I save this, run this program, run this script, um, we get Toyota as my next to be removed, um, you know, item. But it doesn't actually remove it. That right there is your stack implemented in JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked today's video, drop a like and also subscribe to Decode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.